All right, we want to jump right into our topic. Topic number one. All right, mm. like I said in the beginning, it is: Did he do his job? All right. As President Obama's term comes to a close, what do you think will become of our future? That's in America. <laughs> Are the American people in a better situation moving forward? What are your thoughts? Obama gets a lot of criticism, especially from two groups. You have the uh, the far right, who you know hate Obama and all Democrats, and then you have the um, like on our Facebook group. You have a certain segment of the African American uh, population who always ask, "What did he do for uh, African Americans? What did he What did he do for the black people?" And on the group, I always respond back, what did you want him to do? So, even though that wasn't part of the original frame up, I thought I would throw that in. Hmm. So, what, what can we say? Are we better off? Is it a bad situation? The, the man was elected twice. Overwhelmingly, right? Yeah, word. Right. All right, I guess nobody... I don't think... No, yeah, go ladies, ahead. Ladies okay. first. Ladies no, first. No, the question was: Are we in a bad situation? I mean, are we better off? Are we worse off? Well, you know what? I look at it like this: We're worried when he came in. He had to do a lot of cleaning up, a mm. lot of cleaning up, and I think he did a very good job with the cleanup. He's done things in his short period of time that the previous president and his father weren't able to do. So. I mean, nothing's going to be 100% perfect. And right. at the end of the day, I mean, does the president really make all the rules? And, you know, does he really have the last word? No. So when things go wrong, it's like Obama, Obama, Obama. So I think that we're in a better position. It's my opinion. I, I like what you have to say. Um, when I ask that question to the people on yeah, Facebook, they, they never say exactly what. Because I, I tell them, okay, what was he's supposed to do what mm -hmm. did you what did mm -hmm. you want him to do mm -hmm. and if he didn't do it i want to be mad too i want to i want <laughs> I want, I want to join you let me know so like, i can start the ride obama was supposed to take out the garbage it's garbage <laughs> night uh, and we look out in the morning and the garbage yeah. wasn't taken out yeah then we could say obama yeah you're supposed to take that garbage out right but right. no one was no one would really tell me specifically what he was supposed to do yeah. that he didn't do that's usually so, how non, uh, when you have no foundation to stand on in the argument, that's yeah, usually how it goes. I'm just yeah. mad. Why are you right. mad? Because I'm mad. Hey, call in. Don't let us have the last yeah. word. Call in. What is the number? The number is 973-460-8931. Call in, please, if you have, you know, some uh, An different opinion thoughts. Or, you know. <coughs> so what do you guys think? Uh, Miss Rosa, OVT? You want to go? Between? Well, I just, you know, I, I look at it this way. Um, to me, just like I'm not a political person. I, I really don't enjoy politics. I don't really like politics. Me either. But I know it's part of everyday life. Yeah. You understand? And um, when Clinton came in, I thought he was the coolest white man or the blackest white man I ever seen. Was he play that saxophone? <laughs> play that saxophone. But, on Arsenio Hall. Yeah, yeah. But it seemed like, you know, he. It, it appeared to me that he understood what was going on. And it seemed like, to me, eight years. It seemed like it really wasn't enough to really get things to where, mm -hmm. you know, it seemed like um, middle class people um, to get on their feet and move forward. And then all of a sudden, here comes, you know, Bush, bang. And we're back to Tore where, we, you know, this, I mean, yeah, this, this wreck stuff. Yeah. And then um, again, you have Obama in this joint, and, and you know, President Obama becomes president. So, okay, now we got a black person. You know what I mean? Not, a, not the whitest black person you see. Now we got a black person. All right, and he's in there, so he should understand. And it seemed like things were starting to turn around. But again, the residuals don't come till later. Like, you know, I, I think he's done some things. Um, I think he truly understands. And uh, he won me over um, before he became president, man, when he did that um, national thing that, uh, when he spoke. I always get it messed up. The, um, the caucus, is that what it is? The oh, 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 that was... Um, before he even became president? Yeah, yeah, a number of years before that. Right, right. right. And that's when, that's when he actually won me over. And, and Democratic National uh, Convention? There you go. That's what it was. That's what it was. And uh, he won me over then. 
Um, I, I look at it this way: nobody's complaining about the gas going down, right? I know I'm not. Not okay. me. All not right. Me. So, so, so there was a comedian that says five dollars is now gas money again. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So, in my mind, this this is what I'm thinking in my mind: if gas can go down, I think everything else can pretty much go down, and we can live a little better. I mean, the trucks that have to, you know, supply us with the food and the, you know whatever should be able to go down because the gas is down. I mean, because the reason was going up is you know the reason why they said that the food prices were going up is because when they had to distribute stuff. You know, it costs Can't money. So now, right. yeah, th- right. now the gas is down. Right. I mean, can I get my milk a little cheaper? Exactly. Can I get my bread a little cheaper? Yes. Hopefully. You know what I'm saying? Hold on to my money a little longer. Hopefully. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know, man. I, I think that I'm hoping that um, in the future we'll be better off. But it all depends on who comes after Obama right. to continue yeah. what's going on. Right. That's a big if right there. Miss Rosa? I mean, I think that we are, I mean, he's done a lot of, he, he, he's made a lot of significant changes, health care reform. He's also pushing for the two-year community colleges to be free. Like, that's big. That is big. But then we so. also have to remember who has the house. So, you know, I don't know in which direction we're going to go. It's a little iffy as far as that goes, but... I I I am not mad at I'm not mad at him at all. I hear that he's done a lot of great things. I hear that. Right. Like Miss Rosa was saying, um, you know, politics is something that you really have to study, mm-hmm. learn about, understand, and then you can really express an opinion on it. Mm-hmm. And it's not a simple subject, you know. Yeah, Even right. people who've been studying it for a number of years, they don't know all the ins and outs because it's a beast. Um, but what we can look at is if you don't have the backing behind you right. in uh, Congress, in the Senate, and you have people that are working against you, then you have a difficult situation. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, what are you going to do? It's it, not just, he, he doesn't have just the last final absolutely. say. You know, there's there's other individuals that are involved in yeah, the whole and, process. And things so keep flip-flopping, like like, right. like OBT said, like uh, uh, Liz was saying, um you know what, what what's going to happen after obama right now if we can if we can build upon what he started mm-hmm. giving it some time 8 years is really not a lot of time it is, right so if we can build upon what he started then i think we can uh, see some progress right. however if we decide that we're going to tear it down like we normally do mm-hmm. when i say we i'm talking about the country mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. we normally say all right well we gave him 4 years we gave him 8 years that's enough we're going to move on and we're going to switch it up totally and have a pendulum uh, switch, a change. And then they're starting from ground zero yeah. all over again. And, um, you know, we're back to square one. So hopefully we'll get someone in that will uh, continue what uh, the progress that Obama started. And hopefully we won't just come out for the presidential election. Mm-hmm. We'll come out for every single election and we'll vote to put a team in place because politics is about a team. That's People don't right. understand that. Right. They go, oh, we're just going to, we, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, recruit Michael Jordan and everything is going to be fine. It doesn't work like Jordan that. needs a team behind him. That's right. right. Even mm-hmm. the greatest player in the world, arguably, uh, needs a team behind him. That's right. I would say Jordan was the best, but some people might say yeah, well, somebody I would else. Agree. I'm with you. I would agree. Well, like you said, he needed somebody. He yeah. needed Scotty Pippen. He can just work on his own. Rod, man. <laughs> right. He needed all, he needed all the other guys, supporters. And your team, that's your Congress. That's your that's your uh, your, your senators, yeah. uh, your, your state uh, elected officials, your governors. Everybody is part of this matrix. That's and right. if you decide to sleep, I'll come out. The first time and the only time that I got online to vote was in when Obama was first elected. That was the only time that I went and I had to actually get on get a online. line that yeah, was well, outside, wait, away from the talk, building. You, you, meaning you, you, me. Oh. I first time he was online, though. Online. 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 Yeah, I had to go online. I mean, like, there was a line. Oh, oh, that was his first time voting. <laughs> not my first time voting. No, but <laughs> physically <laughs> standing yeah. online. No, physically standing on a oh, okay. slow-moving gotcha. line. Mm-hmm. That okay. was when Obama was elected the first time. And then we had the governor's race two years after that. Mm-hmm. And that was just, you just you, breeze, you, breeze you right on in. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then all the governors became Republican. There you you vote in a Democratic president. And then you allow 
all the governors to be Republican, Republican. two years after. Right. So, um, you know. You know what I noticed? You know what I noticed? I'm sorry to cut you off. Go ahead, but my brother. You know, what's the easiest? When you're building a house, right, which is easier, building a house or doing a demolition? Demolition. Right. So it takes so long to build things, mm -hmm. and in one strong swoop, somebody can come in and just yeah. boom, tear it down. Yeah. Oh, so, folks, let's not tear it down. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, continue to build. And uh, like I said, we're not the only opinions here. If you want to chime in, we have it on the Facebook group. It is Urban Renaissance Arts and Entertainment Group. So chime in with us on Facebook. This is not a topic that's on the group yet. You start it. Start it up, and we'll chime in on it. Right. So right now we want to go into a little break.